All right, it's Robbie Fox for Barstool Sports, and we're back here in the beautiful Madison Square Park. And I'm going to find out what the people of New York City thought about WrestleMania. Hi, excuse me, sir. What did you think of this year's WrestleMania? The question was, how is Ronda Rousey going to make the transition? Is she going to be okay? Is she not? On the mic, she was a little shaky. She debuted at the Royal Rumble. People were like, they knew her acting wasn't great from Furious 7 and Expendables 3, whatever. Oh, I didn't see it. Sorry. Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss for the Raw, Raw Women's Championship was okay. It followed Daniel Bryan, who was his in-ring return, so the crowd was a little bit exhausted by the time it came around. There was a United States Championship match on the show. It was Jinder Mahal versus Bobby Roode versus Randy Orton versus uh, Rusev. Rusev's like the most over guy in the world right now. The crowd chants, Rusev Day, Rusev Day, every time he comes out. Alexa got a good entrance. Nia was okay, but we, we all kind of knew the finish. We knew that Nia Jax was going over, so it's hard to get into the match when you know the outcome. You know what I mean? Prior to WrestleMania, John Cena didn't have a match at WrestleMania, and you would think he's, he's like the face of the company, so he didn't have a match. He lost to Roman Reigns, he lost the Royal Rumble, he lost the Elimination Chamber. He was panicking, thinking that he wasn't going to have a match at WrestleMania. So he calls out The Undertaker. You know The Undertaker? He fires up the crowd's yes chant and everything he does. Yes, he hits the yes kicks. The yes kicks, the yes kicks. Shane O'Mac goes coast to coast from one turnbuckle to the opposite across the ring, a 20 foot jump. So there was a match. It was the Bludgeon Brothers versus the Usos versus the New Day for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Now, during this match, it was one that I didn't care too much about, and I knew the, that the next thing coming up was John Cena versus The Undertaker. He goes for a kick, because that's how he sets up the pedigree. She catches his foot, pushes him down, rolls through, catches him in a fireman's carry by the time she gets, on, gets up. The place goes wild, and they would boo, they'd be, you sold out, yeah. you sold out. Let so in the match, Roman Reigns, Ro Roman Reigns took five F5s. Tags Daniel Bryan again. Daniel Bryan leads the crowd in a slow yes chant. He hits the running knee that beat John Cena at SummerSlam. He beats the he hits the knee that beat uh, Triple H at WrestleMania 30. I'm with my friend Vibs. Vibs looks like me, but he's 27 years old. So he, he's ahead of me, and he orders a beer. Now the kicker here is, two nights later on SmackDown, the iconic duo Peyton Royce and Billy Kay come, they interfere, they beat up Charlotte, Miss Money in the Bank Carmella comes out, she cashes in. We missed the entire match because they were looking at his ID for so long. In my smart mind, he's not actually hurt, but in my wrestling mind, like I was right there, I was like, oh my God, what if he's actually hurt? January 4th, they sold out the Tokyo Dome and had a match for the ages. And then the rematch was in WWE. They never thought we would see it, but it was an emotional moment. He went into the crowd, kissed his wife who supported him through all of this. His newborn daughter got to see him wrestle, which he never thought would happen. It was a moment for the ages. That's a nice story. <laughs> That's a big story. <laughs> so there you have it. Wrestling fandom is alive and well in New York City. Another year, another great WrestleMania.